Hello students, how are you all? Today we will discuss about work, power, energy. We shall start with work. But before starting work, I want to give you an example that if I say you that uh, a book is kept on the table and you have to push it or you have to pull it, will you be able to do that? Let's see. Say I have taken this board. On that board, this book is kept. Fine. You can see the board is there and the book is there. I want to push the book. See, I'm applying force. Yes. I'm applying force and the book is also moving. Fine. Or if I want to pull. See, I'm pulling the book. Yes, the book is moving. So, when you are pushing or pulling an object and the object is also changing its position, that means you have done some work. You got my point? I repeat. If you are pushing or pulling an object and because of that force, the object is also changing its position, we say that we, can, we have done some work. Got it? Now we shall discuss the mathematical formula to calculate work. Let's see. Say, this is the table and this is the book. Fine. I am pushing the book by a force capital F. I am pushing it. And because of that force, the book has change its position from here to here. Say first the book was here, now the book is here. Why the book has changed its position? Because of that force. Correct. So, if I take this distance is S. S is the distance covered. F is the force applied and S is the distance covered by that book. Then I can say that my amount of work equal to my force which I have applied into distance. Simple formula. Force into distance. Got it? Now, we shall discuss about the uh, unit of work. Unit of work are CGS unit is arc. ERG. CGS unit. What is the SI unit? Newton, sorry, SI unit is Joule, fine, now F is force, what is the unit of force, we know, CGS unit is time, what is the SI unit, Newton, now S is distance covered or displacement covered, what is the distance of displacement? What is the unit, CGS unit? Centimeter. What is the SI unit? Meter. Understood? Now, if I say you that, uh, uh, say on this book, this is the book, I have applied a force, 5 Newton. What is the force applied by me? 5 Newton. And because of that force, this book covered a distance, say 2 meter. Understood? So the distance covered by the object is 2 meter because 5 Newton force was applied. So what is the work done by you? We know that work equal to force into displacement. So here my work equal to, what is my force? 5 Newton. What is my displacement? 2 meter. So 5 into 2. That is 10 Joule. Joule. Correct? So this is work. Now I want to give you another example. Say this is the wall. Wall of your room. And you have to apply some force on it. Say this is the wall. I am applying force on it. Let's see. So I am applying the force. But I am not able to displace the wall. 
if you are applying force on your wall you won't be able to displace your wall means force is there but displacement is zero so if your force is there say to displace the wall i have applied a force of say 10 newton 10 newton is the force which i have applied to displace my wall but what is the displacement did the wall changed its place no so displacement equal to zero so what is my work done work done equal to force into displacement that is 10 into zero that is zero so my work done is zero so when you are applying force on an object and the object is also changing its place that means you have done some work but if you have applied a force but the object has not changed its position that means you have not done any work i hope you understood work now we shall discuss about power now let us consider two person person a person b this is person a person b now if i say you that this person has done a work of 100 joule in just 5 seconds understood so he has done 100 joule of work in time 5 second whereas this person has done the same work same work that is 100 joule but in 10 second correct he has done 100 joule in just 5 second he has done the same work that is 100 joule in just 10 second now whose power is higher let us consider that uh, I want to tell you that power means work by time that is power equal to power of the first person equal to work by time what is work 100 by time is 5 that is 20 joule per second got it this is joule this is second so joule per second now if I want to find the power of this person then power equal to again work done by time that is 100 by 10 that is 10 joule per second so who has got more power this person has got more power so I hope you have got a rough idea about power so in the definition of power we will write power is the amount of work done in per unit time understood i repeat power is the amount of work done per unit time so power equal to work done by time this is the formula power equal to work done by time we know that what is the unit of work joule what is the unit of time second so what is the unit of power joule per second instead of using joule per second i can write watt yes this is another unit of power watt understood so joule per second means watt so you understood power now we shall discuss about energy energy is the ability of doing work got it what is energy energy is the ability of doing work if you have some energy then only you will do some work otherwise how will you do the work you got my point if you have got some energy then only you will be able to do some work or i can say that to do some work you require some energy so energy and work are same how much energy you have that much work you can do how much work you can do how much energy you have got it so energy and work are equivalent understood so what is the unit of work unit of work is joule unit of energy is also joule got it units are also same cgs unit of work is arc cgs unit of energy is also arc got my point 
Now we shall discuss about their units in both the systems CGS and SI. Let's start. So we discussed about force. What is the CGS unit of force? Dime. What is the SI unit of force? Newton. Work. Work. What is the CGS unit of work? R. What is the SI unit of work? Joule. J. Joule. Now, uh, energy. As I told you, units of energy and work are same. So, what is the unit of energy? R. What is the SI unit of energy? Same. Joule. Same, same. Now, power. What is the CGS unit of power? Arc per second. Arc per second. What is the SI unit of power? Joule per second. Joule per second. But Joule per second, we can say it what? So, what is the unit of power? Got it? One more unit of power is there which we call horsepower. That is the power of a horse. We consider that which is called horse power HP. Horse power. And one horse power means 746 watt. Understood? So these are the units and the concept about work, power and energy. I hope you understood. Thank you.